This resume builder is a no brainer and it happens to be $150 an hour skill. We're gonna fully automate this little pump as a portfolio project for you, but we're gonna do it in the easiest way possible using AI. You're welcome. If you're the type of person who's gonna do this fraudulently, you better swipe away because I do not authorize that use of this video. But if you're the type of person who's curious and you want to explore electronics, just follow along. This will be 100% worth it. First thing you're gonna do is build this little circuit from my bare metal pump control video, and then you're gonna download that GitHub. And the GitHub is where the code lives. That's example code that runs this little pump using that potentiometer. Now we're gonna spice it way up. Do you see this flow gauge right here? I want you to buy one of these and the little air pump, but try not to spend $600 like this one. Just find a used one that's like surplus on eBay. That little indicator right there, we're gonna make it go to each one of those graduations. There's gonna be 14 of them in this example. And it's just gonna go up, up, up and up, completely automated on its own, just on a timing interval. Now download and install MPLAB XIDE. That's where you're gonna write all of your code and program the device. File, new project, go next. You're gonna keep this all families and now you're gonna pick your device. This is gonna be pick 12F675. Go to next. I'm going to use this XC8 compiler. This should be a free compiler that you download and put onto your computer and then it'll show up here and you can select it. Next, now give it a project name. I'm gonna call this portfolio pump. I'm gonna leave that as set as main project and then we're going to do finish. And now it showed up here, portfolio pump. That's our project. And if you have this TikTok motor demo already open, you see how there's a main.c file. You're just gonna go up here to source files and you're going to see how there's nothing in source files. You're gonna right click and do new main.c. Let's just call it main. Leave everything else defaults, finish. It's gonna create the file for you and that's where your code's gonna live. So now we have a blank main.c file. Now we're just gonna paste our new code, control V. That's all of our source code. If you have two projects open in MPLAB XIDE, the one that's bold is the active project. Now just prompt your favorite AI with what you want the code to do. In my case, I prefer GPT-4.0, and it's going to write your main.c faster than you can even read it. Here's the GitHub for the code that I just wrote. Here's a pro tip. You can power your target circuit if you go into properties, pick kit five, the power drop down, and check the box so that it's going to give it five volts from your USB. Now just click make and program device and it's going to do its thing and program the device. There, it's programmed and running. Da -na. Oh, That's how it's gonna be if you simply cheat your way through life using AI. You have to understand what the AI is writing for you, but if you use it very intelligently and understand what's going on and use it as your mentor and teacher, you can build a resume that is absolutely insane with all these projects and you'll blow away your competition. Thanks so much for watching. Adios.